friends, welcome back to A Simply Simple Scent, making sure I'm, I'm saying the right channel. I have not been in here in a while, but I have been starting to make videos even on my other channel. Life just gets crazy, gets chaotic. So I am back and um, really moving forward of more videos uh, in both of the, the channels. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, giving me a little bit of patience and I appreciate all the love asking me where I have been. <laughs> Today, I want to show you guys uh, just some what I have been warming in the past uh, week or two because let's just face it, I haven't been in here in a while. So I'm going to have my coffee. Okay, and I got my little mug from Target. They, every year they come out with these little $5 mugs and i always have to buy them even though i'm running out of space to put them just like sensi okay what i have been warming so uh first of all let's go ahead and um i just use these cotton balls these are from the dollar store to clean up my um my warmers and then i had that in here because i added new scents in there um let's go start with the kids the kids love sweet scents um into their rooms they each have Scentsy warmers and Scentsy diffusers into their rooms. They really love it. And they tend to be more onto the sweet, sweet scents. Uh, salted caramel toffee. Uh, friends, I am trying so hard to go through my wax collection of Scentsy. I have so many bricks. I have so many waxes. A lot of the ones that I'm going to be showing you are like old school. Um, I have not even bought new ones this fall and winter. I'm sorry. So I haven't been showing you that. But um, I've, I've had like the classic ones. And like I said, I'm trying to use up a lot of my stuff. I'm trying not to to buy just to show. Because everything I show you guys, if it's open, it's mine. Um, and then uh, wax bars is also mine. I don't do vendors. I don't do um, those things. <laughs> collector all right let's get started okay first off i have the salted caramel toffee in a brick form hence i think this is the third year i don't know third year of this still trying to use it up every year they my kids use this so i don't use a lot of um cubes into my um into my warmers it doesn't matter what size i still use the same so what i do is i get like a this um uh, paper plate <laughs> and then i cut cut them in fours so i try to evenly cut um all my my scentsy bricks into four pieces um because i think four is just plenty let me see if there's uh ones in here that i have used um i have cut up and prepped up because usually i will oh right here this is the candy cane wishes one of my all-time favorite one of the kids favorite i put this everywhere around the house bedrooms bathrooms um hallways kitchen living room kids bedrooms like i said it's just a very amazingly christmas scent without all the uh gosh without all the punch um no no sweetness or oh, it has sweetness in there but not too much it has a, you know it smells like candy cane you can't go wrong with this scent um like i said i've had this forever but the way i cut it four pieces and i bought multiples of it smells amazing it smells amazing oh my gosh it smells it smells even better than a candy cane okay so you guys see all these little pieces in here so every single one of these little pieces that i cut i'll put into a, a, a warmer it doesn't matter this one got stuck together it doesn't matter the size whether it's like chip over here that's so tiny i'll put one in there or um mrs potts the big ones because i'll it lasts about a day or two to me no matter how many cubes you put in there and i've seen some um stuff that sensi posts like you know you put four or five um at the bottom i don't know how they have it now i said i haven't had at the bottom they used to say like the number four recommended for best performance of that warmer you should put four cubes in there i've never done that i'm very practical i just use one okay mm. okay 
So that one, kids love this salted caramel coffee. <clears throat> um, must have during the holidays. And then also the candy cane, candy cane wishes. Okay. And then marshmallow. Oh my gosh, marshmallow mint. Jonathan and hubby and the girls love this. It smells like those, um, that chocolate peppermint, um, is it Andes? Andes? Okay, I heard that the Andes uh, chocolate, like the mint chocolate, used to be like on top of pillows on hotels. But that's what it smells like to me. So, ah, uh, smells amazing. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's very uh, fun. I guess it's a fun, uh, fun holiday scent, okay? The kids love that. And then for the kids, the one more thing that they love, like I said, sugary sweet scent, is caramel sugar cone. Oh my goodness. This smells amazing. Um, if you like caramel scent, I love this one. Um, this is one of my favorite caramel scent that Sensi has ever had, the caramel sugar cone. Down to the last one, Jonathan's probably going to have it, but that and then um let me start off with like those are like what the kids love okay and then let me just start off with another um this one's for the bathroom i like this um apricot vanilla or my office whenever i try whenever i have too many of like the the holiday scents the seasonal scents um i need i need something to like refresh my scent to just restart okay so I usually go for something floral uh, or something um, like lime or lemon, like lemon sorbet. I didn't bring it here, but lemon. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. So I knew it. I had another little small one. Cocoa lime is another restart of the scents for me. Cocoa lime for the holiday, lemon sorbet, been doing that one. Um, and then you guys know me rainforest bungalow okay i love this i don't know why i love this so much um without the glare but it just reminds me of childhood it just okay if they have this again please message me let me know it it makes my knees weak <laughs> not in a romantic way but it just it just makes me go back like in time of I remember my like my grandmother like taking care of me and her home smelled like bungalow, you know, island bungalow, the, the Amazonian feel of just being in the islands and being with nature and being with the um, trees, the good smelling trees, not like the pine trees here. In Washington, all the trees I smell is it's not like the island tree smell. I don't even know if that makes sense. But to me, it does in my head. You guys know me. To me, it does. But Rainforest Bungalow, whenever I feel down or whenever I want to reminisce or whenever I want to be like in Zen with myself, <laughs> whenever as a Stanica would, would do, like whenever I want to go, I, I will put this into my bedside table because the scent is right. Because it's so light. It's very light. And then as I'm watching YouTube, everybody's asleep. I'm relaxing. I have my glass of wine friends i have to have my glass of wine but um that's another story but i smell this and i'm relaxed okay rainforest bungalow i mean i can talk here all day about rainforest bungalow i love it i love it okay apricot vanilla to me it's a it's a, a woman it's a mature sophisticated woman she's amazing she smells good and oh she's lovely okay apricot vanilla you cannot go wrong uh, to put that into like the office, uh, the bedroom, and uh, the home. I put that in the bathroom as well. Okay. And then the kids also, I forgot, love this. Happy birthday. You cannot go wrong with happy birthday. If they have this again, friends, let me know. Because my stockpile of about 25 may not be enough. I love this. Every time they have this, I will buy galores of um, bundle for this one. Happy birthday. You cannot go wrong with happy birthday. Okay. Lemon sorbet is another scent. I did not describe this, but lemon sorbet, uh, sorbet reminds me of that candy. Is it lemon heads? Nope. Lemon, um, somebody said lemon heads, but yes, also lemon heads, but also the, um, the, the square little chewy thing. Is it, um, Starburst? 
lemon starburst uh it smells amazing friends okay coco lime is a very light lime to me i like it um i think it smells amazing okay i think i tasted that one and it tastes bitter okay um i have this one as well this one i'm i just started it i'm warming i uh warming it into my office but this one is blueberry rush Ooh, can you guys see that forgive me on this video friends i i need to get back on the horse and ride again okay blueberry rush i enjoyed it when i warmed it because i'm like oh i haven't warmed this in a while i don't have a lot of this and if it comes out again because it's a bring back my bar i will order a couple more because i enjoy it it's a nice blueberry scent um almost like a blueberry pancake per se like you're having pancakes well it doesn't have like the maple scent to it like i was gonna say like a blueberry syrup but no just to me i feel like it's 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 a bakery scent that warms you up like you're eating warm blueberry pancake and then blueberry um preserves or jelly on top and then you're just enjoying that I associate everything with food. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, another one. Um, this one. Okay, I tried this. I'm almost, it's almost gone. I, I do love this. But to me, ginger and spruce, I love it. I love it. I do love it. I'm, I'm not going to say I don't like it. I love it. But I have to be in the mood for it. Because the ginger is so it's so strong on this one it's a good scent especially when i'm like you know when i'm frying fish around the home and when there's a smell that i don't want to smell and i want it to get rid of i will i will put this but it's so strong and like i said friends look i cut it tiny look out look at that i make oh, it smells good i like it it smells good diane stop saying that but I have to be in the mood for it because if I'm not in the mood for it, it gives me a headache, okay? But obviously, compared, like, I, I've used that, you know, I, I can't get rid of my bricks. But, like I said, I like it. Snowberry. Oh, my gosh. Okay, not snowberry, but sun-kissed cranberry. Sun-kissed cranberry has been one of my favorites. So, I had, I have this in a, I think I gave it to Miss Mary because she needed um, like a Christmas scent. But look how warped that is. Friends, I have had this these bricks for ages, like two or three or four years. Um, and they still smell amazing. They last forever. I don't recommend you guys stockpiling them for like the uh, zombie apocalypse, which I seem to have been spot, uh, stockpiling for. And when we lost power, hubby did say, you know what? Oh zombie apocalypse and i'm like oh I, i'm all good i got scentsy but then i realized we had no power so i couldn't warm up my scentsy <laughs> but um sun-kissed cranberry and again it's a very classic uh classic um christmas scent so let me see if um i have my ipad uh let me see if scentsy still carries this for this season i'm sorry friends i'm so behind i don't even know what's going on liverpool fs sunsy bar i don't even know what that is okay don't mind me sun kiss oh lo load more i'm just gonna fast forward this because this is so sad <gasps> snow kiss oh snow kiss friends sensi did not bring back snow kiss cranberry this year I'm surprised. I feel like it's a classic. They should have. Okay. This smells amazing. Um, they've always brought it back. I think this is the only year that I've seen it not brought back. But anyway. Okay. So I like that. Okay. I'm going to put it here. The other one I like. Sugar Plum Berry Scentsy Break. This came out. I don't know. Maybe three years ago. But I like it too. Um, I think I'm going to start warming this up more. Oh my goodness. It has that fruity scent to it, pine scent to it, <sighs> berry. 
Oh, it smells good. Ah, it smells good. Okay. I love it. It has the perfect, um, perfect Christmas scent without overpowering of certain scents. Sometimes pine to me is a bit too much like this one since I've had this like this for like four years probably. Um, oh, I'll warm it once. It smells like, um, it smells like Christmas tree. It's, it smells like you're out there, you know, chopping your fresh Christmas tree and, and all the smells of all the Christmas tree is just, whoo, the wind just like knocked you out of your feet. That's what this smells like to me because it's so strong. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's just so strong. They could have just added a mixture of something to it like this one. I, I feel like they put a little bit of this in here but then blending it you gotta you gotta cook like when you're cooking you gotta like you gotta stir it this one they just here's a pine tree let's just put it in there and then put it into a sensi break and then we're good to go okay that's what i feel like they did with that one it's not bad though okay one oh here's another strong one this one christmas cottage i have yet to finish a brick it's all so strong it's not bad but it's very strong. Ooh, um, I like it. It's just, I can't have too much of it. Okay. But, um, I'm like trying to think my, my brakes are so old. It's kind of stuck. Okay. But, um, it smells good friends, but sometimes like I like, I like subtleness. I don't like anybody punching me in the face <laughs> or sensi. Mmm. Smells good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to start warming this up more. It smells good. Okay. I have one right now in in my hallway upstairs. So it smells good. Very, like, again, I'll cut it in fours. Maybe even five or six. <laughs> but uh, just to make it light. Oh, my gosh, friends. Okay. I have three backups of this. Okay. This is the Blizzard Berry. I, ha I think this came out 2018. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, four years. But, okay, let me pop one out. It, I love it. I have been warming this everywhere. I think this is the one that's in here. Like all of them in here, okay? It smells so good. It's refreshing. It's um, It smells, oh my God, it smells so good. Refreshing, Christmas feel, holiday feel, um sweetness to it but not too not floral sweet just everything light with christmas Whew. okay that's so good all right friends so the other one that i have been enjoying is um icicles and evergreen okay i just spray that um here and there even like the car and then also for the car uh winterberry um apple tea my one of my uh one of my go-to's i've had this for a while they never, like, they never go away, like the scent. This is so old. Look look how old that is. But I can still smell it so strong. But instead of throwing this out, I will put this into, like, if you have a shoe bin, um, I'll put it, put it in there. It just adds um, scent to it. But Because, like I said, I never throw these away. I'll just put them somewhere, like linen closets. I'll put that into a linen closet, and it's just there. And then it still adds some scent to it. So this one I'm going to be um, putting probably into my linen closet. So I have that one. Winterberry apple tea, one of my uh, favorite um, Scentsy Go scents. And then the blackberry, um, black raspberry vanilla. I've shared this with you guys. If you have any dish warmers that has um, accumulated all those wax, like different wax and burning it and it then ruined the, the white dish. All you have to do is put this in there, let it soak in for like, you know, a day or two, you know, whatever, um, because you don't want to, you don't want to get rid of the good smell. So leave it there, use it. And then when you're done using it, um, instead of just letting the, the cotton ball just soak up the wax, rub it, clean it. Uh, I use Q-tip and it works, it cleans it. I mean, it makes all those um, residue go away almost like you have a brand new um, dish. So that is going to be the black raspberry, vanilla, uh, black raspberry vanilla. Okay, friends, that's it. See, oh my gosh, my Sensi videos are always long. I'm already at 23 minutes. 
I'm gonna have to edit that. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I'm gonna have another video of just an unboxing, one warmer, but I'm excited to add it to my uh, collection. So until then, uh, mahalo friends and thank you for stopping by.